crap just break? Why did he shove the entire steering wheel? Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back as we finally get into the season finale, at least for season one of Succession. We've had a good bit of build up, and I think starting from episode seven and to now, the upswing is happening, and a lot is going to be riding on this episode. I mean, so many conflicts that we've seen, so many. Uh, stabs <laughs> just just verbal stabbing that we've seen in the last episode but primarily the the conflict between Chev and Tom is something that I am very keen on I, I, I love that I love just Tom as a character is just so fascinating in so many ways um, amongst these amongst the crowd of people that are our characters here uh, Tom is the one that has not only made me laugh the most but I feel like is the most uh, interesting to kind of deep dive on and to kind of just see how he reacts to information because a lot of the other people within his family are cutthroat Tom is not within this family so there's this you know this this different texture to him that he's able to provide to a lot of occasions and occurrences that I think is just different from the regular cutthroat mentality because sometimes he tries to wield that but then there's other times where you know especially when he's talking with Chev someone that he truly feels that he can be himself and he can trust there's this other version there's this kindness that is very much there and to see that teetering and to to see it being challenged on the day of their wedding of all places and all of things and then all the other things that are just around the corner of that uh, makes for some exciting TV. So I'm excited to see where this season leaves us off with and what we can hopefully look forward to in season two. Like always, if you guys want to be able to support, you know, the best way to do it is by checking out the Patreon. You can also show support by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing at the end of the day. Hope that you can just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into more succession. I want Willet in this. So. Uh, okay, is that, is that, is that appropriate? Connor. Oh no, that's fine. It is appropriate. Okay, but is it is it appropriate? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, let me, uh, you know, is 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 this problematic? Is this appropriate? What is a call, girl? Not anymore. And sometime that might come out and hurt my profile or Tom's. That's crazy that you have to think of that. That's really wild that you kind of have to think of that. I'm gonna punch Tom in the face and I'm gonna rip my shirt open. I'm gonna take a fucking dump on the ground. I'm gonna go ape shit because she's the woman I love. Do you get it? <laughs> kind of commendable i can that's pretty cool that's pretty that's pretty like <laughs> that is pretty hilarious of him to say that that was pretty good <laughs> are you scared no fuck you are you yeah man i'm scared so if i'm scared and you're fucking pretending not to be scared then fucking you should do it yeah <laughs> hey, you fell into that one you fell into that one I don't know why you did not just be honest, man. <laughs> Should be printing. But it's not? Uh, shit. What? I think it got sent to a different printer on their Wi-Fi network. Are you, Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, no. Yeah. Now. Hey, hello, hello, hey, hey, no, hey, no, what the fuck? No, not now. Hel hey, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's awkward. That is awkward. That's awkward as hell. Only 15% of men, when it comes to it, actually shoot an undefended enemy soldier. He shot first. <laughs> that was hard. That was cold. But yeah, man, you better not quiver. You better not sh shake in your Tims, man. Do not do that. If you're going to be this dude, you better, you better walk this line, man. I want Kendall to be a villain so bad. <laughs> Pockets or dicks, they both happen to be aerodynamic in shape. You're unbelievable. This is not happening. Dude's just locked in. He's trying his best to stay locked in. <laughs> Maybe you want to come out, Dad. Oh, come on in. I'm not on the cam. Yeah, man. You gotta just go through with it, bro. Be the villain. Oh, man, I can understand how shitty this probably is, man. Oh, my God, I don't even want to watch this. <laughs> well, there you go. Fucking all those kids. Hurt the brand. <laughs> hey, 
This is Logan. What the hell are you talking about, bro? <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry it had to be today. It was out of my hands. God damn. God damn. Damn. That is freaking brutal. That's brutal, man. I, I have, you know, I've wanted to, to, to do things uh -huh, uh -huh. to save the company and, and, and uh, do. Sam Tall Kendall, come on. I love this shot with him in the mirror, though. That's really cool. Some good things. Do good things. Be a fucking nurse. Damn, how about that? How about that? He said, do some good things. Be a fucking nurse. Shareholders. And I'm here. And tomorrow, by tomorrow, I need... I need a lot of things I don't have. Ah, oh, man. What is he thinking? He might have to not be able to go to Chev's wedding. And then obviously, Chev is going to hate Kendall for that. Even though she probably didn't want him to go there in the first place. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Listen, I look at you and I see Weimar. I see hyperinflation. I mean, I look at your face and no offense, but I see dead babies. <laughs> God damn, Connor. Holy crap. Connor, he's going to be the next president. Really? I just wiped the floor with him in a debate. He buckled under intellectual scrutiny. He uh, was lucky that wasn't televised. Jesus, Connor. <laughs> he, will, he will take his W's. That's something about Connor, man. He will, he will get his win. I actually have to go watch a fucking satellite launch in Japan that I'm actually in charge of. That I Hold on. That I reorganized for you, for you two fucking carbon neutral to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, his... his, his... His ability to just think like that is pretty incredible. It's good. Uh, wish everyone luck, okay? Uh, in Japanese. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad goes wrong with that. Oh, God. Could you imagine if it just, just blows up? Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. You have death on your hands, so you might as well figure something out, man. Well, I wouldn't say death on his hands, but Jesus, dude, that's rough. <laughs> oh, my God. He went to immediately clean his hands off. Wow. Find out where that fucking shrunken California raisin is. The president. I think that's smart. Come on, come on, let's go. Just in case we didn't know who he was talking about, he was talking about let's get going. the president. That's so crazy. And I love how Jerry just knew. <laughs> president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah. Holy crap. Do we, get a, do we get a politician arc with Connor? <laughs> No, sure, you know, apart from the power of the executive branch. And drama can change minds. Yeah, but not really. <laughs> he said, he said, eh, well, no, not really. I can outlaw drama. Coordinating satellite launch. Fascinating. How did it go? Uh, it, oh. uh, it great, actually. It went great. Yes? Yeah. This is amazing. Oh. Congratulations. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Roman, you are just in deep, deep hot dog water, bro. Okay. Things people do to just keep up that image, man. I'm telling you. Hey, do you think maybe you can fetch me something stronger to? That's yes, I'll be real with y'all. Thanks. Thank you. I'm not letting Logan talk to me like that at all, bro. I don't care who you are, what position of power you have. If we gotta scrap verbally, physically, we're getting down. I don't care. <laughs> Gale means there's likely casualties. Very unclear. Mm hmm Because I did put a lot of pressure to accelerate the launch even though there were concerns yo no 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 roman you're terrible dude you're terrible he accelerated it to have it launched during his sister's birthday and it resulted in everybody dying and the thing exploding i can try but fuck you're looking at potential corporate manslaughter yeah, Roman, th that's all you, buddy. Good luck with that. 
Yeah, that hot dog water is gonna get boiling real soon. Have you told the others? The others? The kids. No. Is it an advantage? Uh, no, I mean... He did. He, he asked if it was an advantage, bro. Dude, it's constant chess with this guy. It's insane. So I just wanted to say that in public because I'm getting on and I might not be in good enough health to say it when you remarry. Damn. Damn. Jab. Yo, that was good. That was good. She's great. <laughs> She's great. She will cut your throat and hang you by your freaking intestines, but respect. Because um, I'm so happy right now. So thank you all for coming, and uh, I love you all. Tom is so great, man. This boy Tom. This boy Tom is... And if you take out what happened with the cruise ship, it's great. Excuse me. Hey. Sorry. Can I... I love that Logan is dancing with her. <laughs> Out of all the people there, Logan's dancing with her. I don't want to play the bleeding heart here, but there is a reason I work with him, and it's because of inequality. And oh. This guy sucks, man. This guy is so lame. Actor's doing a good job, but... I, you're a I... real piece of work, man. You act like you're a fucking guy, like a decent guy, but you're, you're a piece of shit, man. Kendall, play into it, man. I want to see this dude villain out, man. He's, he's always on the fence. He's just sitting on it, man. It's just right between his legs, bro. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. You, you gotta, you gotta gear it through. This is just a little maneuver, okay? You, you don't need to get sentimental. Sentimental. You think this is us just being sentimental, just for the hell of it. Also, I don't know why Roman has anything to say, man. He wasn't there to back up his brother during that, uh, the previous slaying of the king. No, Kenny, I could just do with the assistance of the family firm on my ambitions to become president. <laughs> it's like the first time they heard that. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? That you're nothing. You're curdled cream. Maybe, maybe you should write a book. Kendall, bro, get into it. I need this guy to stop being overshadowed by his dad. Yeah, because, I mean, generally speaking, people don't like you. Huh? Shut up. Shut up. You're an idiot. Don't. You're an idiot. No, I, I could do that job. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Dude, I've met people like Connor, and it's really great. Usury and unknown and unknown and usury and unsecured, unsecured debt and masturbation. The spilling of good seed. That sounds. That's wild. What the heck? That's a crazy. <laughs> the spilling of good seed, bro. Japan. Like how many? Like how many died? How many did they find? Yeah, you didn't hear? No. None. None. Woo! Like none, none, none at all. No, two guys lost thumbs. Nobody died. Okay, well that's really good. That's really good. Kendall. No, that's fine. Hey, guess, guess who just didn't kill anyone, but maybe only lost a couple of thumbs. I don't, I don't know. This guy. <laughs> He's so hyped that nobody died. I am too, but still. But hey, so listen. Um, <laughs> do you know where I can uh, find? Uh, Dude, I can use Kendall, bro. Greg is like trying to give you proper props, man. <laughs> Greg the motherfucking egg. There you go. Look at you. Give him his flowers. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Machiavellian fuck. I see you, Greg. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Greg, my guy. Gil Can I rip takes it? Off, then I, no, if Gil um, takes off, I don't even know if I want to go um, back inside, yeah, especially now. Shiv, shh. Let's just fuck. You're very for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Tom's like, Brad, listen, all right? You look good in that dress. <laughs> and, you know, because I thought we were both grown-ups and we had an agreement. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Damn. Can I send him home? Yeah, yeah sure. Good. <sighs> well, that was crazy. That is, that's rough. Just think, 
I That's rough. He said, can I send him home? I'm like, hell yeah, you can, Tom. Don't even ask that. Wondering if there's an opportunity for something different from the whole box set death march. The box set death march. What is that? What is that? Is that how you describe it? The relationship. It could be exciting. Right. Maybe, I guess. Yeah. That's wild to bring that's wild to bring it up on the wedding day. That is so wild. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Tom. It's, it's like 28 different things, and they all get lumped in together in this one sack, and there's a lot of things in that sack. It needs to get emptied out. There's fear and girls are afraid of commitment. There's nothing wrong about that, but just bring it up before your wedding. <laughs> I love you too. Fuck. Fuck. Damn, that was good. Ah, man. Tom. Tom, bro, you're you're a legend, man. You're a legend. I mean, it's effed up what you did. I'm not forgetting that cruise ship, but... One of the better characters. Hey, can I get in? Hey, um, uh, we're just, uh, talking. Here. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. I'm so looking forward to this. Okay, well, I'm sure I'll figure something out. Right. But it might be smart for you to, to leave directly. Find something. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Get the fuck out of here, man. Let's go, Tom. I got the message. Woo! It's fine. Okay, let's just keep things cool. I think you need to stay calm. Shut up. Get the hell out of here, man. I think you need to go fuck yourself. If I ever see you in the same room as Shiv again, I will pay man to break your. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Tom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. I'll just, I'm just gonna finish this. My mom and dad made a contribution to the wine, so I'd really rather you didn't drink anymore. Let's go. Woo! Tom. Don't make a fucking mess. Get him out of here! Skedaddle! Nah, man. Tom is... <laughs> I was waiting for that moment all season. You guys have no idea. Oh, and he gave a nod to Gret. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! He said I will pay men to break your legs, and I won't go to jail. <laughs> That is the one time privilege is just like, fuck yes, man. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. I was going to say something about the filmmaking, but I was like, no, I've been looking for this moment for so long. I have to stop. Stick shift. You used to an automatic. Uh, plus, uh, I don't drive that much. Huh? You better figure something out, man. You better figure something out. I like how they're filming this. Okay. Holy crap, just break. Why did he shove the entire steering wheel? Oh my goodness, bruh. Is Kendall gonna have to let this guy die? All for some coke, man. Are you serious, bro? Kendall, man. I said I wanted to see you in your villainous era, but I don't know if I wanted to see this, man. Every second, it's just compounding the fact that this guy may not survive. It's going to get to a point where he just can't save him. Oh, that's not going to be pretty to sit with. Don't you ever touch a single drug again, bro. But also, holy crap, man. That guy is gone. He's dead. He's with you the one time and then gone the next. Wow, I love how the water looks when the light comes into contact with it, especially on film. Man.
Yeah, so he understands the gravity of his situation. Because he's clearly hiding from people. How do you just go back to that normal? Like, it's going to be after what you just experienced, man. It's weird to just see how death... And we haven't seen it, but... Man, you know, it's just wild to just see how death is being portrayed on the show. I notice how good the lighting is, um, sp specifically in this episode. There's just a lot of really good lighting that's involved here. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, man. Greg was right. Good luck. Yeah, that's a shame, man. He, he's getting robbed of this moment that he could be enjoying for himself and his family. Hey! <laughs> I mean, you can't just not dance with your kids, man. Like, come on. <laughs> I get that you just killed somebody. Or somebody died with you. Or alongside you. But uh, he, so, um, is he okay? He, he, I guess he died. Ah, oh, man, that's wild. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, you, he was, he was dead, bro. He was dead. He was under that water for a very long time. What's that? How's that scrambled egg? It's been sitting there for like an hour. Yeah, because it was, wasn't his stuff at the scene? Do you think his stuff could have been at the scene? Did you know? I, I knew. I, I knew because I, I just found out. But uh, it's a... It's <laughs> Dude, you're, you fumble so hard, man. Like, jeez. I'm never going to trust you when you're, like, in a hard place, bro. Like, stuck between a rock and a hard place. You, you can stay there, man. <laughs> I think he might have been a thief who... Broke into your room and took your card. Right. Let me handle this. Oh, snap. Because of, like, you know, they smash. No. Ah, that? man. Okay, right. Dude, that's... This is this is terrible. This really sucks, man. You have not been yourself. There's nothing... I don't... I don't think, um... And... I wasn't there. Damn, he is just a little baby boy right here. At a lovely wedding, where father and son are reconciled. Damn, everything that he just did just got absolutely annihilated. And he's giving him the open arms. Damn, he crumbled, man. He crumbled. My stocks in Kendall are very low damn you hate to see it but yeah like you give logan a bone he's gonna freaking <laughs> he's gonna make a factory out of it you threw this guy exactly what he needed to get out of the sticky situation he was in that you put him in And that's where we end it. That is where we end season one, y'all. All right, everybody, we just got done. Season one of Succession ending on the king still being on top of the throne. Welcoming his son in open arms. Or <laughs> welcoming his little boy in open arms. Because Kendall has officially reverted back to that child that is always his father's number one. Man. Kendall... <sighs> I had a lot of hopes for Kendall. I really did. I had a lot of hopes for Kendall. I mean, I know everybody in this show isn't, like, good <laughs> or anything like that. But it's like, you know, if you're going to if you're gonna try and be this person, if you're going to try and be the, the, the person to dethrone somebody, then you have to quite literally become that. You can't be sitting on the damn fence if you want to sit on the throne. You can't sit on the fence if you're trying to sit on the throne. And this dude been sitting on the fence to the point... To where he was like, 
I don't want to say accessory to the man, to the murder of that kid, but kind of low key, you know. Like I know the kid kind of shoved them both out of the car, but I don't know. He had it. He had it every step of the way, and all he wanted was just well, not all he wanted. All he had to do was just stay clean for one damn night, man. So frustrating, but I mean, I guess that's what cocaine does, right? I wouldn't know, but uh, that's just a shame. He fought so hard to get to where he was. He did a lot of bull crap just to come back and cry in his father's arms. So I don't know. Uh, Kendall, yikes. Uh, but we did have a winner, uh, and that was our boy Tom. Holy crap. Our boy Tom, yo, Tom is 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 just incredible. That moment that finally happened. I mean, I was literally about to talk about something, but then when I realized the scene that was about to happen before me, I was like, no, 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 that can wait, that can wait. I need to witness this, and it was perfect. It was exactly how I wanted it. I mean, it, I honestly would have loved for Tom to you know to whoop his ass, but you know. What he did, the flex he did, and the threat, the flex and the threat, the flex and threat, fire. I absolutely loved it. Man, that was good. That was really good. And then that nod to Greg, because I was like, stop fighting him. You know, you know he's right. It's ha it's good to see them uh, reconcile through that one two-second moment where they just nod to each other. I think that's that's good. That's real good. Get that guy out of there. But, yeah, it seems like Logan is still ahead. I don't see this guy being dethroned for a good bet. I don't even know how they would do that. Maybe the freaking cruise ship just can, you know, it can come back into play. Um, I know Chev's ex is aware of the cruise ship. I believe so. So I know he's a little bitter. And I know, you know, he thinks Tom is now his enemy, even though he had no business being there to begin with. Um, so my thing is like, okay, season two, there's just a lot of things that potentially can't get brought to light that can cause future future conflict, which I'm all here for. So yeah, guys, this, ser this series was really fun to watch, but I really loved episode seven to here. Episode seven to here was, whew, that was worth it. That was worth it. I'm excited for season two. As always, if you want to get uh, in touch with when I'll be getting into that, like I said, I'm going to be taking, for the Patreon people here, I'll be taking the next week. Uh, as a break, you know, before um, getting back into it the following week. So in case you guys are wondering when we're going to get into season two, that's when. Um, if you guys are on the YouTube and you want to get into season two right away, you guys definitely can. You know, just check out the Patreon. It should all be right there for you. But don't worry about it. You know, if you can't do it, it's totally cool because Succession season two is probably going to be rolling out in a few days or weeks or however the schedule is right now on YouTube in that point of time. Um, this was awesome. Really excited to get to the next one. As always, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.